have friends how are ya welcome back to my channel for an interesting vlog um i alluded to the fact that i was going to be filming this in the video that recently came out but i am leaving tomorrow to start driving cross country <laughs> and i have so many mixed emotions it's my last day in california and I'm not gonna think about that too hard or else I will get very emotional. But I'm gonna take y'all along with me. I think that there's gonna be some joyful aspects that we get to focus on during the journey. And we're meeting my mom in Phoenix and we're gonna stay at a really cute hotel in Phoenix and a cute hotel in El Paso. And it's gonna be a road trip vlog. Um, there's gonna be highs, there's probably gonna be lows, but I'm very thankful to have you here with me for this journey. And today I'm, getting the last little things together, packing up the car. I'm about to head out and get snacks for the car because we're gonna be spending at least 20 hours in the car. So snacks, drinks, all that type of stuff and just kind of getting the last final touches on before we leave tomorrow. Um, today I've been pretty emotionally steady, which has been a welcome change. We'll see how long that lasts, but I'm nervous about tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous. So I think I told y'all that like, my, my number one coping mechanism is to really try to focus on joyful things. Um, like for example, yesterday I got my nails done and I know that the road trip's gonna be hard so I'm trying to think of joyful things for the road trip and I ordered some Olipops to take in the car as part of the snack bag that I need to make today. Olipop is sponsoring this vlog and it's the perfect timing because I truly think it's the best road trip beverage. Look at how cute the branding is. I'll tell y'all more about them if you haven't heard me talk about them, but these are my top three favorite flavors. Let's see if I can balance all three. These three, I love orange squeeze, the strawberry vanilla and ginger lemon. Ginger lemon is gonna be so good for if I get car sick. The little bit of ginger and the little bit of fizz, that's probably really gonna come in handy because I get car sick a lot. I do wanna share my code with you. I have code Mikkel and this will get you 15% off the variety pack. There's other flavors too, like a kind of cola flavor and a root beer flavor and lots of flavors. And I have noticed that I've told so many friends about Olipop and it's so interesting to me that everyone's favorite flavor is different widely different. So I always recommend starting with a variety pack to figure out your favorite flavors because these might be your favorite like mine or you might love the other ones most. So highly recommend using my code Mikkel to get 15% off the 12 pack. We're gonna do a little quick taste test of the orange squeeze, even though I know what it tastes like because, oh, that's a nice sound because I have it probably several days a week, but mm. The, the like creamsicle orange flavor, the vanilla, I'm sure is what I'm smelling. It just smells so good. Oh, it's so refreshing. It really is like a creamy, citrusy, sparkling, sweet treat. But I love these because it's the same like sweet fizziness like a soda, but it has so many amazing ingredients inside of it. It only has two grams of added sugar because it's sweetened with things like cassava. And then it really focuses on digestive health with amazing ingredients like marshmallow root and slippery elm bark and nopal cactus and Jerusalem artichoke, ginger juice. The botanical ingredients inside of it absolutely blow my mind. It also has prebiotics and plant fiber. So this has nine grams of fiber. Another thing that always happens when I am on the road and just not around my own kitchen is I don't eat very fiberful foods. I eat a lot of processed foods, a lot of French fries. So I think that this will help keep my digestion on track also, which is just good. I honestly have not been taking care of my body. I've been stress eating processed foods. Um, you could probably tell by my skin. <laughs> And I've just not been taking great care of my body. So part of my mission going forward is I know if I show my body some love with some healthy ingredients, I'll probably feel better all around. And also for my friends that have different dietary restrictions, it is gluten-free, it's vegan, it's paleo friendly, keto friendly. There's nothing artificial inside of it. It's just very clean and very happy. So thank you to Olipop for being a bright spot in my day and for giving me something to look forward to on the endless hours of driving and for sponsoring this video, focusing on happy things. And Olipop is something that's always made me very happy, which is great. So everything I own minus like two boxes is all packed up in my office back here. It's really 
emotional to see everything just condensed all together. Um, the furniture I'm taking is this, our dining table, our media console, and our dresser. And so it's really not a big move. I don't, I'm not taking a lot of stuff. I'm rebuying a lot of stuff because clearly we, we only have one of everything and I wanna leave Brooke with essentials like couch and bed, etc. cetera. And um, my future den is actually quite large so I can get an even bigger couch. So that's what's happening. Movers are coming on Saturday to get all the boxes and then I just have essentials in my car because the movers will arrive to the new apartment between November 14th and December 4th. So that's a very big window that I might have to go without my stuff, which is why I'm putting essentials in my car, like clothes and you know, one, I have bring my always pan because I can do so many things. And so this is what it's like. Um, it's sad, but it's happening. It's happening. It's Wednesday. Um, it's the day that I, it's the day that I've really been dreading. This feels like it's far too vulnerable to share, but I told you guys that I was gonna just show up as I am. Some days are gonna be good, some days are gonna be bad, and this is the day that I knew was gonna be the hardest. And um, I just said bye to Brooke, which was really hard. I just took Max on his final walk around our block. Said bye to the mountains. Now I have to say bye to our house. And I love this house. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> it's a lot to lose the person that you love dearly, but then also to lose your house and your life and your neighborhood and your friends and your community and your routine and everything that goes with that. Um, I've been proud of myself for getting through moments that I never thought I was capable of because I'm terrible at emotion, terrible at hard moments, uncomfortable moments. I'm very comfortable being okay and being happy. I've really been, I guess, challenging myself and growing in that sense. And this guy, hopefully, is gonna be well behaved on the drive. Thankfully, we got some practice last Christmas and he's typically pretty bad for the first hour but then kind of calms down after that. But that's why I took him on a long walk and I'm hoping that got it all out of his system. Okay, last little cleanup. I'm gonna clean these counters and tabletops and everything for Brooke so they're all nice and clean. And then we're gonna hit the road and it's gonna be uphill from here. The hardest part is done, I hope. God, I hope. At least the most sad part is done. Uphill from here. Max's seat belted in with a like a little belt that allows him just enough to put his front paws on this because that's what he loves to do when we drive. We're gonna go get gas and then everything is done. We're gonna hit the road. We're gonna go to Phoenix. I got slightly nicer hotels than I was initially going to do because the cheaper hotels all charge like $75 to bring a pet and the nicer hotels will sometimes let you bring a pet for free. So like the nicer, cuter boutique hotels actually ended up being the same or cheaper than like the more generic big chain hotels. So we're gonna go to some cute places. Another silver lining. Okay, he already found the snack bag. Are you climbing on the snack bag? I might need to make your harness a little bit more secure. <laughs> We made it to Phoenix. My mom just came to check us into the room because she's already been here and she had just placed an appetizer order at the pool. So she's waiting out for her food and I was like, I'm gonna give them a quick little room tour and then um, go see the rest of the hotel. But this room is adorable. This hotel is adorable. It's very Palm Springs, even though it's in Phoenix. Max is having the time of his life exploring all the furniture. <laughs> but it's called Rise and um, all the amenities look so cute. I haven't fully checked them out, but I, I'll show you those too. Look at this guy. Are you so happy to be out of the car? 
Are you so happy? They give you a free popsicle at check-in. Which is so cute. Apparently the front desk is like a popsicle bar also, and there's even like boozy popsicles. Not that that's my vibe, but I think it's really cute. So a quick little room tour. So you walk in the front door and immediately there's like the little bathroom mirror. This tile is everything. Oh, these finishes. I love everything about it. And there's a cute little linen robe to use. And this is the first glance inside the room, but first I'll show you. <laughs> first I'll show you inside the bathroom. More of that same super cute tile. It goes all the way into the shower. And then the shower is like this kind of partially privacy glass screen. This tile too is so nice. I wish I could like have control over tile in my future home. Oh, you gonna take a shower? Is that what's happening? They have a record player and you can check out three records at a time for your room at the front desk and they have a huge collection. There's this amazing little desk slash vanity. The fact that they thought to add a mirror as a vanity is huge. And then this room is massive. Look at that fun wallpaper. There's looking back to the front door. Max, I guess, has made this chair his own. And then a full length window with just this little like privacy um, screen in front of it. What do you think, bud? You like being a traveling boy? I am gonna go meet my mom up by the pool. Max is coming with, obviously. And I'll just get a little montage of the amenities as we see them so you can see what this hotel really looks like. But I can't believe, I put very little research into booking the hotels because there's been so much to figure out. I just kind of booked the first cute one I found after finding out that they allow dogs for free. So I'm very pleased with it. It's so cute. Okay, cute montage. Hello from Thursday, yep, in a new state. Um, we just made it into New Mexico. I left, I started driving at nine this morning and it's about five hours later, so it's about 2 p.m. But it just changed times here in New Mexico, so it's 3 p.m. So ready to get to our next stop, which is El Paso. Um, and if you're not familiar with Texas, Texas is so large. San Antonio is kind of like in the middle of Texas in terms of east to west, and El Paso is like the very tip and it's still seven hours from El Paso to the middle of Texas where San Antonio is. So <laughs> it's actually gonna be our longest driving day. But today I've been surprisingly okay. You know, as okay as, as it can be. And I'm proud of myself for that. It's so unpredictable. And then Max says hi. He got a new fresh bone back there. So he's really happy. <laughs> we finally made it to El Paso and it's been a long day and I'm a little stressed, but it feels good to finally be here. Oh, <laughs> and mom turned off the lights. Um, I don't know if it's excessive to do two room tours in one vlog, but I'm gonna do it anyways and I'll make it quick. This hotel is called Hotel Indigo. They are dog friendly. <laughs> Max is very excited. And I'll start at the front. Well, I actually wanna show you the view first. So here's the view before it gets dark. There's like, I guess that's the city. I guess that's El Paso that way. What do you see, bud? What do you see? I actually haven't really explored the room yet. Wow! But here's the bathroom. Hello. Wow, that's some, that's some bold tile. And then I guess these are closets. Do they open up on this side? Wow, with a big mirror there and all of our stuff. These wagons have been so helpful for travel. And then it's a simple room, coffee, another mirror, TV, light. And then these are the beds. What do you think, huh? Yes, is this your chair? Oh, I will move this backpack for you to fully have this chair. Oh, wow. That's his dream right there. <laughs> you know how when nothing sounds better than a shower, especially after you've been in like a car all day with the sun beating down on you? That was one of those days and this um, hotel is valet only. And so with Max, we were like, it's too much to coordinate trying to figure out like to go get food. 
So we just went ahead and ordered in P.F. Chang's because <laughs> it was one of the only gluten-free options in this area and we're having a chill night in. Lit one of my favorite candles. Oh wait, I want to tell you about this candle. I was on a waiting list forever for this candle and it's it's so silly, but as soon as it like re-released, I, I bought myself one immediately. Sunday Candle Co. They're a small company and this is Alpine House and it's like the perfect woodsy scent. It smells so good. Anyways. So Chinese food in bed and a movie and showered and pajamas. And there's a cookie place on Postmates that has vegan gluten-free cookies. So gluten egg-free. And I think I might have to order some cookies. <laughs> that's, that's quite possible. Mom went down to the lobby right now to get the food that's here. Also though, so many emails. Um, just trying my best to stay on top of work, but also cutting myself slack. Clearly <laughs> there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> so. And it's the next day. I haven't vlogged any today, have I? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> this was, it was a long day of driving, but we're, we made it back to Texas. I'm back in my room. Max is clearly excited to be here. He's hyped because he was playing with our family dog, May. And I, yet again, am like, I cannot wait to shower. And I'm gonna wash my hair. And it feels good to be home, but it also feels weird and sad because it's like not under happy circumstances. So it's a lot of mixed feelings, but a shower always helps people feel better. So I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna shower. Yeah, He's, his pupils are so big, he's so hyped. Good morning, it's Saturday. This is probably gonna be the last day of this vlog and I'll get footage starting tomorrow for a new vlog maybe just trying to get a little bit each day so that it's not overwhelming day to day but i actually stayed up late last night and caught up on some work which has relieved a lot of anxiety and stress because you clearly can't work when you're driving a car for three days i don't know there's just so many other logistics to figure out on top of work that it's like my brain was spinning so i feel like i've settled down my brain a little bit we are about to take the dogs on a walk and it's it's nice to be home today's gonna be kind of like get life back in order day do laundry um, figured out, you know, some logistics. Actually, movers are arriving to my house in California in 20 minutes. So I was talking with them on the phone, coordinating that. And I'm sure it's going to be a little bit confusing of like, I have a color coded document of these are the pieces of furniture that stay in the house. And these are the pieces of furniture that I'm taking. It's probably not a simple move for them to figure out all of that, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, and tonight, we might try to do something fun. We might actually go to my high school. I went to a performing arts high school and they have their fall show right now. So we might go get dinner and go to their show to support them. Um, I kind of told my parents like, yeah, that sounds great. Let's plan on it. But I um, just, you know, don't know how I'm gonna be emotionally. So as of right now, I'm feeling like I can be around people and be emotionally stable, but that could change in an hour, which is a lot of fun to figure out. But I'm gonna put on walking clothes and take a walk. That's kind of what's going on for today. And um, yeah, I'm home. I'm in Texas. Feeling like life is getting more together. Caught up on emails, just took some campaign shots for this. Clothes are almost done out of the dryer. Max has been loving life here. So I feel like things are feeling a little more organized and a little more organized makes me feel good. Also, let me show you this real quick. This is just some of the stuff for when I move. Look at all those boxes. I have a bed, a mattress, plates, a new Tovala oven, <laughs> so many different things that we can open in the next vlog. Um, for the rest of the day, I think that we're gonna go into San Antonio, like I said, we went ahead and made a reservation at a sushi place that has gluten-free sushi. So I think I'm up for it. Um, I'm hoping I stay up for it. And if so, I'm just gonna get like a fun little montage to end off this day so that you guys can come along and then I can leave this camera at home. So let's cue that montage. Myself to hold my hand, standing in the shadows of where we have been, sleeping with 
Thanks for being here with me through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The last five days, the highs, the lows, mostly the lows and the mediums. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for giving me a reason to put on clothes and makeup and talk to someone and go out and do things and um, focus on positive things. I really appreciate y'all. And who knows what the next few vlogs will look like, but there's gonna be a lot happening. Um, I also just got an Olipop to finish up some chores. And I wanted to say thank you again to Olipop for sponsoring this video. Mm, my favorite. And don't forget, I have code Mikkel, and I will have all that information down below. I love you. 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 Um, I hope you have the best rest of your day. And I will see you in another vlog very soon. Lots to do. So give me a sign, give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all in.